Welcome to another installment of the Yakima Symphony Orchestra's Stories from Home, a series of interviews presented by Valley Mall and available at ysomusic.org. My name is Lawrence Golan, and I am the Helen N. Jewett Music Director of the Yakima Symphony Orchestra, coming to you from my home in Denver, Colorado. Today I'm chatting with Deb Ackerlin, a violinist in the Yakima Symphony Orchestra, coming to us from her home in Aberdeen, Washington. Hello, Deb. How are you doing over there? Pretty good, thank you. But before we start, can I just make sure that we are socially distancing ah. correctly so we're six feet, yeah. Six. six feet apart. Okay, we're good. Thank you for checking on that. Yeah, that, that's good. Um, well, tell us, how long have you been playing with the Yakima Symphony Orchestra? I started in Yakima in 2005. Brooke was the conductor, and uh, one of the first things we played was the Bartok Concerto for Orchestra. And I remember thinking, wow, the Yakima Symphony does not fool around. They get right to the big stuff. That's right. And we still don't fool around, do we? No. We, we no do fooling. not shy away from the big stuff. Yeah, you know, we haven't done the Bartok Concerto for Orchestra since that time. Uh, we haven't done it since I've been music director, which is the last 10 years. Uh, so I think it's about time we, we pull that out and, and show the show the audience what we can do. Yeah, it shows out the orchestra and what they can do too. Yeah, well that that's what I was referring to. Yeah, great. So, um, all right, let's see. Uh, next I'd like to know in the time period that you've been a member of the Yakima Symphony Orchestra, has there been one concert uh, or one piece that has stuck out as as being the most memorable for you? Well, I mean, all the concerts are really fun. I think all the music is great. I think the last concert I played was especially good. It was the uh, Rachmaninoff Symphonic Dances. And I love that piece. And I think that the orchestra played it really well. Yeah. They sure did, yeah. And what about looking forward to next year? Um, is there any particular piece or any particular concert that you're most excited about? Well, next year, all the concerts seem great. I mean, it's a fantastic season. I'm really looking forward to the Mahler. Uh, it's a huge piece. It has the- That's Mahler song. Symphony Number no. 5 you're talking about. Number 5. Uh, it has the uh, famous Adagio that's great for the strings and harp. And I'm also really looking forward to the Joshua Bell concert. Yes, uh, the final, well, actually it's not on our, on our series. That's the, the gala toward the end of the year uh, in May of 2021. Uh, we're bringing in uh, the great superstar Joshua Bell to play the Brooke Weiling Concerto, among other things. Um, and just for good measure, we'll be warming up the audience with uh, an orchestral performance of Beethoven's Symphony Number no. 5. So yeah, that's yeah. going to be a fantastic concert. Of course, the Beethoven's great. Yeah. Okay, great. Now, um, we all know about your wonderful violin playing. Tell us, is there some surprising fact about you or some interesting fact that you'd like to share with us? Well, there's a lot of them, but we don't have time. <laughs> one thing I think that you probably don't know is that I have dual citizenship. I was born in the United States. I'm a U.S. citizen, but also I'm a Canadian citizen. Uh, I, one of my first jobs was in Canada. And uh, I remember that was a rather big adjustment because I had not, not been to Canada before. I didn't know anyone in Canada and I didn't speak the language. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure which language you're referring to, uh, but uh, so, yeah, so you don't, you don't speak in, and, and, and French, I assume, is no better. French is bad. Right, right. Okay. Well, um, let's see. You know, we miss hearing you play very much. Uh, would it be possible for you to play something? Sure. I would like to play something that I thought of when I saw my friend Ramon, who played a violin piece on the bass. And I'm going to play a bass piece on the violin. And uh, the reason I chose this piece is because it always reminds me of the summer because um, people like to go out in the summer and do recreational things and be outdoors. And when I was younger, we used to, my dad had a rather leaky motorboat that we used to go fishing with and we always thought it was great fun. We'd be out in the middle of a lake somewhere and then the motor would conk out and we wouldn't catch any fish either. 
but it was still really fun. So the piece I'm going to play, it is related, believe it or not, it is from the Trout Quintet, and it's one of the greatest melodies of all time that is based on his song, The Trout, and it includes a bass. Okay, beautiful. That was Deborah Ackerlin, violinist with the Yakima Symphony Orchestra. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. And may I say thank you for doing these interviews. I think it's really great that you're keeping the Yakima Symphony relevant, especially in times like this. We really need music more than ever. So thank you very much. You're, you're very welcome. And yes, we, we want to stay connected with, with the Yakima community and we will be back on stage as soon as we possibly can, and hopefully that sooner rather than later. Great. Stay safe. Take care.